Hello, my name is John Pinto. I'm a mathematician and amateur astronomer. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about local hour angle. This course is uh, based upon the uh, course developed by Dominique Prenet in his Celestial Navigation book. And the exercises are in the exercise manual that you can find more information about at marinenavigationbooks.com. There you'll be able to order the books or download the exercise manual and also download resources associated with the course, including the slide deck for this course. So today we're going to talk about LHA, local hour angle, an important concept that we'll be using uh, throughout this course uh, to determine your location using a sextant nautical almanac, and site reduction tables. LHA is the angle between the boat meridian, where you're located, your longitude, and the sun meridian, where the sun is over the earth, counted westward from the boat to the sun. So here's an example in this figure of an afternoon site. The sun has already crossed the meridian of the boat, so it's past noon, we're in the afternoon, it hasn't set yet, and therefore the LHA will be less than 180 degrees. So we have an example where the sun hasn't crossed the meridian of the boat, so we're in the morning. So in this case, the LHA is going to be greater than 180 degrees. Again, we are counting westward from the boat, all the way around, till we get to the meridian of the sun. Now for a boat with a west longitude, so you're west of Greenwich, your LHA will be the GHA of your uh, celestial body, in, which in this case will be the sun. In this case, it's 158 degrees. And you would subtract the boat longitude, again, if our longitude is west, to get the LHA, the distance from the boat's meridian to the sun, and in our case, in our example, 158 degrees minus the boat's longitude of 123 degrees west gives us an LHA of 35 degrees. Now, when you do this calculation, if for some reason you can't do the subtraction you may have to add 360 degrees to the GHA so that the subtraction gives you a positive number. Now for a boat that has an east longitude, so you're east of Greenwich, your LHA is going to be the GHA of your body, your celestial body, in this case again the sun. You will add the boat's longitude east to get the complete LHA from the boat to the sun. So again, in our example, the sun is at 14 degrees GHA. The boat is 49 degrees, I'm sorry, the boat is 35 degrees east. We add the two together and we get a complete LHA of 49 degrees. Now in this case, you may add those two together and get a number that's greater than 360 degrees. If that's the case, you'll just subtract the 360 degrees from the total to get a number above zero, but below 360. So again, just to uh, summarize, local hour angle, which is the angle between the sun and the boat, going westward from the boat, to the sun or whatever celestial body you're trying to calculate for, but for now we're going to stick with the sun, counted westward from the boat to the sun. And it's summarized here, the formula, LHA is the sun's GHA minus a boat west longitude or sun GHA plus a boat longitude east. And again, you're going to add or remove 360 degrees as required to make sure the results are positive and not greater than 360 degrees. In the exercise book, you'll find some exercises where you can practice this. 
um, you'll be given a GHA and a boat longitude, and you will calculate what the LHA is and whether or not this was a morning or an evening sight. Next time, we will start actually calculating our latitude uh, using a noon site. Um, we had talked a little bit about this in a previous episode, but we'll get into the nitty gritty of actually how to do that. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you soon.